Wowzers, we got damaging wind. I just heard metal getting torn off the roof or something over there. Holy, it's ripping in. There's thunder. That was a crazy gust. Well, I'm gonna close that for a minute and get my coat on. Just a huge gust of wind coming down the road. Seeing leaves picking up and debris flying and then all of a sudden uh, heard oh, I think what was tin ripping off something over there across the road. Maybe it was, oh, a big flash of lightning there. Listen for the thunder. That was close, close. That first gust blew a garbage can over. Meowie's like, okay, I've had enough of that. British Columbia today. Lots of lightning in the central interior. A ridge is coming through. There's already been thunderstorms in Prince George today. Still lots of wintry conditions and wells. It's nice to see the rain. Maybe it'll start melting some of the snow. There's still ice on our lake. We've had some good lightning strikes right in town. Spring is trying to take over. Maybe some summer weather someday. I don't know when. It's only plus seven here in Wells. I mean, just to give you an idea, it's not been very warm lately. I'm surprised we got much of a thunder. I guess there's just enough warmth getting pushed into here to keep it fired up long enough to give us a little bit of anger. Oh, it's a cold rain. It's slush. It's kind of like hail. It's a slushy hail. Now there's hail. Hail on the ground. There we go. It's bouncing down there on that bent over garbage can and bouncing off the porch. We got hail here. It's hailing. It's coming down good. Bouncing off me. It's kind of a wet, crappy hail. Like, just as much rain as there is hail. So it's not even as fun as hail usually bouncing off you. Yep, we got crappy hail. Wells, BC, May 16th. I'm Joey Only, and this week on the Comedian Report, my son Waylon turns seven. Frankie McDonald celebrates the 10th anniversary of the guy trying to eat 50 hot dogs at once by making a new video called Guy Tries to Eat 50 Barbecued Ribs at Once. Okay, guys, we're going to do a Guy Tries to Eat 50 Barbecued Ribs at Once. <laughs> well, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, Frankie's got the weather we've got. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, Frankie's got the weather, whether or not. There it is. I want you to eat 50 barbecue ribs at once. Eat them all right now. Eat those 50 barbecue, barbecue ribs at once. Eat them all right now. Good morning, Prince George, and good afternoon, Winnipeg. This is the Comedian Report. Comedy plus meteorology equals Comedian I'm your host, Joey Only. Here in Wells, British Columbia, and we are here to talk about all things how the weather sucks in Canada. The weather is funny business indeed. Yes, the show airs on CFER 88.7 FM every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And it airs on CKUW every Tuesday, Monday at noon. That's 95.9 FM in Winnipeg. So Prince George, Winnipeg, please enjoy the show. If you're a student at... University of Winnipeg in the meteorology department. This is required learning. You will be required to listen to this show every week and uh, it will be on your final exams, which uh, probably already happened. Right. Professor, professor only runs a tight ship. Yes, I do. Dr. Joey, to you. So uh, we're here with our panel of meteorologists. We got uh, Joe Stover, of course, who you might know from the How Do You Do Review. And uh, we got Image and Cookie Bailey We down in Victoria, B.C. Joe right now is up in Churchill at the airport. Uh, he's working. It's been a while since we've had him in his office there. So uh, he refuels aircraft. And uh, you just never know what might happen during the show with Joe. It's looking it's looking good. My my shift technically ends in, uh, in an hour. And so far, nothing on the radar coming, which is a good thing because we are having our trademark may long weekend snowfall and it's uh the wind is whipping it around pretty good we already had to de-ice two aircraft tonight that we didn't think that we were gonna and uh yeah like you said weather in canada man we also uh outside of canada we have pete glanco down there in virginia beach we're also waiting for the man himself frankie mcdonald i'm sure he'll be along any minute uh he's on his own time he's frankie mcdonald he's the man 
He uh, um, gets to do what he wants. The legend. The legend. I've been is. off of a uh, messenger for like 35 minutes now, which is unusual for a while. So I DM him on Twitter, see if. Uh, I bet you what he's doing is he's walking around in downtown Sydney, Nova Scotia. And at some point, he's going to find Wi Fi at uh, the college. And he's going to stand there. And Frankie McDonald has entered the waiting room. Oh, yeah. I've, I've see if I'm right. Is what there he is. There he is. Frankie. I'm doing great so far. How are you doing? Now you're doing great so far. Just and then where are you? Wow, you're in a different uh, part of Sydney, Nova Scotia. One of my favorite places to use Wi-Fi is AW, Frankie. Totally is. So, t- Frankie, how is the weather in uh, Sydney, Nova Scotia? Looks like it's a nice night. It's a nice night, but it's a little cooler in my area right now in Sydney, Nova Scotia. That soccer soccer building used to be the old bowling alley. This plaza used to be a regular mall. Before torn down 2010. Seems like uh, the malls are kind of going the way of the dinosaur. It is the uh, 19th of May. Today is my son's seventh birthday. I think around uh, halfway through the show, he's going to uh, jump in and we're all going to have to say happy birthday to him. So I hope you're ready Excellent. for that, Frankie. Yes. Uh, Whose birthday is it? My son, Waylon. Happy birthday. Well, he's not here yet. He's not here yet. We'll wait till he gets here. But I'm glad that's good practice. He's just war- so, he's just warming up the pipes. It's the 19th of May. You'll be hearing us on the 21st in Prince George, and you'll be hearing us the 23rd in Winnipeg. Frankie, what has been happening in Canada for weather this week? It's going to bring really hot weather all across eastern Canada. Any ice is this Sunday coming. Then it's going to cool back down again on Monday night in eastern Canada. Any United States. It's going to bring they're bringing a lot of severe weather in Minnesota and central states right now. Bring cold weather in Pacific Northwest as right now. It's snowing and thunderstorming a lot up here. And then for Colorado, it's going to get snow on Friday night with cold temperatures, especially up in the mountains west of Denver. They had a 7.3 magnitude earthquake close to Australia. What else, Frankie? What's going on it's in the so, world? That means it's getting colder in New Zealand. It snowed somewhere in South Island, New Zealand today because it's it's daytime there. Right now, it's nighttime here. Their shortest day of the year is June 21st. Their winter begins on June 21st. Man, oh man. So BC and New Zealand are getting snow. Fantastic. Both sides of the world. Well, we're much like New Zealand. And did you hear yes, that New silly. Zealand's winter starts on June 21st? That's when their winter begins. I got something to say. My most viewed video ever on my YouTube channel is Guy tries to eat 50 hot dogs and wants it turn to 10 here or so this Saturday on May 21st, 2022. We featured Guy Tries to Eat 50 Hot Dogs at once last week on the show. If you want to watch last week's episode, you can always uh, find us on YouTube on my channel, Joey Only, Caribou Weather Dude. And we featured uh, Frankie talking all about his legendary video, Guy Tries to Eat 50 Hot Dogs at Once. I want to eat 50 hot dogs at once. Eat tomorrow, right now. Eat those hot dogs right now. Get up. Frankie, yeah. Frankie can still remember how delicious they were. Don't go falling down when you're eating 50 hot dogs. Oh, my God, in Japan. What's the weather doing in Japan this week, Frankie? They're bringing lots of rain and humid weather in Japan. Here comes the story of the hurricane. And typhoon season will also be kicking up in a high gear in late August and September. It's London New Year. That means it's going to bring below average typhoon season in Japan this year. Is there going to be uh, tropical weather anywhere this week coming up? Possible Gulf of Mexico. Keep our eyes on that. I got a bigger to deal with. There's a lot of sandstorms going on in Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Morocco, and Sudan, all these places, Sahara Desert, driving all the dry, dusty air and sand all the way from West Coast Africa, traveling all the way to Gulf of Mexico. We even had some dust storms this week in Brandon, uh, in Brooks, Alberta, where Brandon Houck lives. Strong winds producing quite a dust storm just to the staff, staff west of Brooks. Look at all of this dust. And we're still dealing with those winds gusting at least 70 to 80 kilometers an hour to the south. And this area here, I believe, still gusting about 50 to 60. But look at that. Unbelievable. You can see we're just on the edge of that plume of dust right there. Frankie, what about uh, Russia this week? They're bringing a lot of fires and dry weather in Siberia, causing so much fires lately. Burn a lot of trees in Siberia. That's going to further heat up the planet. What's going on in Ukraine for weather? Right now, Ukraine's getting warmer and hotter all the time there, too. And Egypt is getting hotter, too. It's going to get dangerous heat, causing a lot of sandstorms in Egypt. What's been going on in Europe lately? Right now, it's lots of warm weather and it's a lot of sand coming all the way from Morocco, traveling all the way to Spain. What's been going on in outer space? 
Right now, it's a lot of solar flares shooting from the sun heading towards the earth and things like this. I got something else to say. They just discovered a doorway like hole up in Mars. It's a doorway like hole up in Mars. Enough said. Interesting. It's not really a doorway. It's just a hole that looks like it. <laughs> it looks like a door way up in Mars. But the, the people are going to be talking about that nonetheless. They'll be like, doorway on Mars. It's the 2010... 2001 Space Odyssey. He might have had sharks on Mars once upon a time. I, I got a real quick question here for Frankie. With Egypt getting increasing sandstorms, is that going to be a problem for the Sphinx? Is the Sphinx going to be sneezing a lot and having a lot of uh, desert allergies? Like a solar flares, a lot of asteroids headed towards the Earth bypassing the Earth. <laughs> I'm pretty does sure that, the Sphinx does that is answer used your to question, sand. Imogen? <laughs> it does. It does. Sure Four flares and a Martian to. doorway will lead to the Sphinx having uh, seasonal desert allergies and a lot of sneezing. Tell everybody about the uh, show that we all uh, hijacked last night. Surely, wait a minute. Jason Marshall, we don't have cookies last night. Yeah, all of a sudden we just all showed up on him and he's like, who are all of you? And Frankie told him, this is the cast of the Comedological Report and that was fun times. Well, you know you're in for some fun when Frankie says, I got somebody to introduce to you. And, it, <laughs> and that, was, that was, yeah, well, that's, that's really what it was. It was almost like this whole show just migrated over there. It was just like our gang just like kicked open the door and we're like hi jason how you doing i'm joe i'm imogen i'm joey i'm trey like oh it was it was so much fun last night frankie thanks for the invite buddy frankie what else is going on how many uh, videos did you put out this week i just did a guy try to see 50 barbecue ribs at once requested by roger the wild child eat 10 more barbecue ribs that's a good idea 50 barbecue ribs that's a lot of ribs did he fall down? I just fell down. And say, I, they said, get up. Don't go falling down when you're eating 50 barbecue ribs. <laughs> Don't go falling down. Eat four more barbecue ribs. How many uh, subscribers is your YouTube channel up to now this week? 276,000 subscribers. 276 whopping subscribers. 276,000. And I got something else to say. Hey, did you hear about that? I was uh, Bass Guy is back playing the music. Bass Guy yeah. has returned playing music. Because when you got a name like Bass Guy, if you're not playing music, you know, part of you is obviously missing. Slapping the bass. If you want to eat barbecue ribs, don't go fall down. Bass Guy shows computer is really, 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 really old. His motherboard is really, really, really old. So is his processor. Yes, it's too bad. So, uh, so no, somebody out no there. No shows for him, I guess, eh? Somebody out there needs to help upgrade him. Base yeah. Guy's computer so that he can have shows again. You can watch Base Guy playing guitar. Imogen, you can watch Base Guy playing guitar at 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You guys have to watch Base Guy show on YouTube. We've been ordered by Frankie. That's you know that's why yeah. we wound up on that show last night. Frankie ordered us, and we just went. That's, that's, pretty much, like, that's pretty much what it was. I was just yeah. sitting there watching watching some hockey, and then Frankie says, he didn't say, hey, would you guys like to come on? He says, no, you guys come on this show. And and who <laughs> says who says no to Frankie? Not this guy, that's for sure. He I'm like, yes, sir, all, all, that's, all that's going on is a really exciting Flames and Oilers game. Who cares? Man. Let's, let's crash this guy's show. Hey, what's up, guys? A little update from the North right now. It's Roughly 10.30 p.m. Happened to be in one of the only places on earth where you can wear sunglasses late at night and not look like a complete douchebag. As you can see, this pond's a little bit frozen, but mostly, mostly not. Joe, what's going on for weather? You're up in Churchill, Manitoba. Talk to us about Churchill, Manitoba at this time of year. Well, this time of year, it's it's hit or miss. Um, mostly, mostly miss, if if you're talking about what you would want in a May long weekend. When you think May long weekend, of course, you're thinking, ah, oh, the official or the unofficial start to summer. Well, in Churchill, last year at this time, it was, uh, we were right in the middle of a blizzard and it was something like minus seven or eight. 
it was just brutal. Um, and people's memories are a little bit short because here it is, uh, May 19th again. And there is some snow, but it's just, you know, it's minus one and it's whipping around. So it's not pleasant, but it's also not as bad as it was uh, last I year. Got, uh, Joe, I got something else to say. New Zealand's unofficial start to the winter is June 1st, 2022. An official start of winter in New Zealand on June 21st, 2022. In Antarctica, it's cold outside in Antarctica. Because that's the beginning of the month is the meteorol... Me Ugh. The meatball or a Meteorological water. summer starts in Northern Hemisphere on June 1st. Same day as meteorological winter starts down in New Zealand on June 1st. That's right. That's right. Well, if, it, if, there's, a, a, if there's a meteorological summer or an official start to summer... Churchill is still a bit a bit far from that, but it's it's not so bad. The Hudson Bay is still uh, still frozen, so the polar bears are still all out in the ice. We probably won't see them at this rate until uh, maybe September. the last week. Well, well, September possibly, but last week of of June is probably when when there's going to be breakup, and when the ice breaks up. The bears come on shore and then they just basically wait there up in, until, up uh, in the month of August. In, so. Up in Inovic Northwest Territories, leaves change colors up to Fort McPherson and Inovic Northwest Territories in second half of August. That's when their fall starts. Yeah, their fall starts a little uh, a little earlier than ours. So that's the that's just how it is. Northern living. So <laughs> with a polar, we play dead. No uh, polar bears eat dead things but yeah other than other than that it's pretty pretty normal around here cold uh, it's supposed to stick around uh i think eight is about as warm as it's going to get this week and that's going to be on holiday monday and we're um, having much the same situation here yeah i, I figured wells was and, a little bit the same uh, idaho's <laughs> getting it wyoming's getting snowstorm colorado's <coughs> getting snowstorm and memorial day is on may 30th in the states yeah, the question long is, Joe, a bit longer. when does Comedeorological Spring start? Joey, it's Comedeorological Spring all year long, baby. <laughs> it's Comedeorological freaking something. It's, uh, <laughs> got, what yeah, else? I got something else to say. Meteor uh, meteorological winter starts on June 1st in New Zealand, in Australia, South Africa, Southern Chile, and Argentina down in argentina so if you were if you lived on the equator frankie and uh you were and it was june 1st if you had one foot on one side of the equator and one foot on the other side of the equator you would have uh meteorological winter and summer all at once yeah, yeah. i think the equator is too wide it's like when you look at it on the globe it's this big red line oh, you no, can't spread your legs that wide line. at least i can't Space Guy show has returned. You will have to watch Space Guy on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesdays, Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube channel. That's my order. Yes. That's, yes. that's the there kind of is. command. Yeah. Yes, sir. Frankie wants you. Not only does he want you, he demands, he insists. Space Guy show, you listen or else. Frankie gives the order and we do it. That's how Frank we wind up doing stuff like that. Frankie's army. Yeah, Frankie just ordered all of the listeners to go check this out, and so that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of people going, "What is this? Let's have a look." But make sure Don't you do wait. it. Do make it sure you now. do it. <laughs> make sure you do it after listening to the meteorological report, though. Yeah, oh God, that's how you get the Please. order. You get the code. Yeah, wait to the end of the because if you wait to the end of the episode, we might tell you other things you could listen to that are more interesting than our show. <laughs> yeah, so so you'd better stay tuned because you, you just never no, know. What you you will, will recommend. You will stay tuned to the Comedological Report. Hey, Joey, uh, weather update: It's pouring rain. I'm at the fairgrounds right now. Ride's about to start. This is my little buddy Kenward, and we are riding the Himalaya. It's a whole crap ton of fun, and we're going to get soaked doing this. Only because Hell there's yeah. a hole. Only because there's a hole in the roof, and it is pouring. Oh.
Peak Lenko, you must be having better weather than all of us. Weather's been warm here, uh, but you were you were sick the past few weeks. Now I'm sick. I've been sick the past few days. I have I was a hundred one point seven last night and uh, still shaking that off. So I have not been paying much attention to what's going on outdoors. To be quite the, honest, but the, the weather, weather has warm, warm inside. You're saying inside my body it was hundred one degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. I don't know who the temperature was outside. I know it's been warm weather around here though. Down in Virginia Beach, it's uh, it's basically officially summer here now. So it's regarded as uh, last time I was down at the ocean front. Uh, we have summer traffic now. And uh, all the weekends, at least, everybody's down at the beach. So it's uh, summer, basically, here. That must be cool. Yes, sir. Summer is a state of mind. (laughs) I've had uh, my first bunch of tourists uh, drive by slowly in their camper vans and take pictures of my house while I sit in the window, looking out the window. So that has begun in Wells, but... uh, I think they get up here and uh, they they see all the uh, literature about how beautiful they've looked at the websites on Barkerville.ca and whatnot. And they've seen how cool the historic town is. And, hey, it's uh, spring. And then they get up here in the mountains and they go, oh, my goodness, uh, people still live in this weather. And eventually things like things are starting to melt a little. It's. It's getting there, but we've had a lot of a lot of snow and thunderstorms and then rain and then hail and then a few moments of sun before snow and hail and storms and rain and lightning again. Just wild, wild time up in the Caribou Mountains. So I'm a little curious, Joey, why are people just photographing your house? Because my building's cool, man. Have you okay. seen how cool my old place is? No, I haven't. Not from the outside. Like oh, I can right. see the inside because you broadcast from there. And then, you know, like when we're on video chat, then I see the inside. So it's like a 12,000 of- square foot barn with like moose antlers on the top and, and Star uh, Wars, red roof. Uh, Star Wars hanging from the ceiling. Well, I mean, just the outside alone, it's it's an impressive building. It's it's quite large and bizarre looking. Oh, OK. And infested with mooses. There's lots of antlers and rocks and things like that in front. Yeah. Various things I've collected. Cool. So it's a it museum is, like, of sorts. It's a museum of awesome. It's a museum of very cool. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, people, that's what they do. They uh, they come by and they, they photograph my house. I don't necessarily like it, but uh, that's what they're going to do it. It's I don't really think it's- cool outside in Bonaventure, Quebec, where Monica is at, and Mariah, Quebec, and all in Gaspé, Quebec. It's really cooler outside, including Per Se, Quebec, Ramoski, Quebec, Bonaventure, and Chandler, Quebec. There's really cool temperatures there right now as well. Oh, lucky for Prince George. For the first time, we're starting to see some sunshine and some warmth in your forecast, although maybe not considerably, but uh, maybe in the, the lowest places. Yeah, I mean, Saturday, 16 degrees. Still a low of zero at night, but uh, the warm-up continues. Sunday, 17, sunny, 3 degrees at night. Monday, 16, mix of sun and cloud, 4 degrees at night. Tuesday, 18 degrees, mix of sun and cloud, 4 degrees at night. Wednesday, 16, you get the picture. So we are kind of looking as we get to late stages of May at having some some more seasonal weather for crying out loud. But you don't have to plug your car in, so it's all good. What yes. You, hold on. What do you define as seasonal weather? More seasonal weather. We have like one and a half seasons in BC. Well, I mean, the average high for Prince George right now should be around 17 degrees Celsius. So we've been uh, a number of knocks below that consistently every day. You know, and when we say average high, that means, you know, you would expect some days to be warmer, some days to be a little cooler, but we've consistently struggle to get anywhere near their average low 3.6 degrees highest temperature ever recorded in prince george 28.9 degrees on this day the 19th of may in 1956 and the lowest temperature minus 3.7 so we're close to some of those all-time lows that was in 1992 so generally this is the time of year we get uh, quite a bit of precipitation coming up uh, may june 
and uh, it's often the wettest time in BC. Well, now now that you gave your statistics, I, I already had mine handy. So May 19th, um, the lowest that it's been in Churchill since uh, records were kept in 1943 is when it started. Minus 15.0 back in 1956. And the warmest was 1991. 23.3 degrees Celsius. So you can definitely see the the potential for winter or summer weather on this weekend around here. And I'm sure the same is said for Wells too, right? I'm sure Wells has had some pretty hot Maylongs once upon a time. Uh, the most snow on the ground that Churchill's had at this time uh, was 1967 with 51 centimeters on the ground, uh, May 19th, 1967. So yeah, 1967 was a big year. There's a lot of snow and cold weather records uh, that oh, were set at that time. So I did not know that. I that one comes up frequently. I can't seem to find uh, easily Barkerville uh, records right now, and I have before. But uh, yeah, I mean, you would expect uh, being up here in the mountains cold weather has happened before i mean i'm thinking that any minute now my son is going to come on he's thinking that he's going to get uh just a happy birthday from his dad but it's going to be a happy birthday from the whole meteorological report you're hearing the show with prince george on c for 88.7 fm i'm joey only your host and you're hearing us on ckuw 95.9 fm in winnipeg we are the show about how much the weather sucks in canada imogen who is that with you is this that's, your, that's imogen's cat yep this is more about Oh. Yeah. I just woke him up from a nap. I can tell. <laughs> that That is his uh, resting cat face. He's not angry. He's actually quite content right now. He's got oh. the funniest little nose. He really does. It's so tiny. What, is <laughs> the temp what would be the temperature inside the weird Mars door cave hole? It's going to still be really, 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 really cold as well. Why is it going to be cold? Because the Mars is on habitable planet, it gets extremely cold at night. Oh. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and find uh, um, a Mars weather station right now and see if we can find out what the temperature is on Mars right now. That would be awesome. So, Joe, you you were filling up, uh, putting fuel in airplanes. What, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, how are gas prices affecting flight? <laughs> uh well, across the board. Uh, flight uh, prices are going up for sure. As far prices as um, up New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Argentina, down in Argentina, and in Chile, in Southern Hemisphere countries, price of gas is going up in Russia, China, Ukraine, Belarus, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Mongolia, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, Brazil. All the South American countries, Mexico, Guatemala, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Honduras, and Panama. That's going to affect next winter as well. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little nuts. But, um, yeah, I know just here at the, uh, at the Churchill fueling station, um, That's going to affect the, price the, of, the price of jet fuel has gone up about uh, 50 cents. And what I about believe the we're in for what another the, one right away. What about the... What about the space stations in Florida? Ted Cavro space. That's going to cost government a lot of money because the gas price is going up for space. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you ain't you ain't kidding. It's uh, it's it's pretty rough. But I mean, people still have to fly, and goods still have to fly. So these these planes are still going. So they're just they're just eating the cost right now. But I would imagine wow. that uh, shipping things is going to be more. Um, if you're going to be a passenger on a flight. It's going to be more, so we're we're certainly getting that right now. So anyway, and what's here, going on in Russia right now? Well, I'll tell you what's going on in Mars real quick before Russia. So the latest weather, and this comes from Gale Crater on the planet Mars, uh, Sol uh, 3475. Uh, it is the high. The high today is is one degree Celsius, and the low is minus sixty six. Wow. Like Antarctica, on the planet Mars, almost like Antarctica, pretty much. Maybe not that much of a a variation, but it gets that. But Mars doesn't have cold. oxygen. That's a wild swing in one day. It is big time. Well, that's that little. Mars has a pretty paper thin atmosphere compared 
compared to ours. So that's uh, not at all surprising, especially when um, when they're on the night side, because the night side everywhere is cold. Like Mercury, even though it's the closest planet to the sun, their night side gets way colder than uh, than we ever do out here on the third rock from the sun. It might have had sharks on Mars once upon a time. What is the likelihood with temperatures like that? What is the likelihood of Martian penguins or polar bears? I'll let Frankie answer that one. Mars temperature is really, and really, they got ice caps up in North Pole and South Pole up in Mars. Up in Mars, it's extreme temperatures, but Mars doesn't have oxygen like planet Earth. So what you're saying okay. is that, and I heard that the scientists are planting uh, on planting of trying to plant plants on the moon soil. Oh, definitely. They're going to try and cool. grow potatoes like uh, like Matt Damon's character did on uh, The Martian. Matt Damon. Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Growing, growing <laughs> plants on the moon soil. Okay, here comes my son. Oh. There he is. Hi. Hi. Hi, Waylon. Hi. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. I'm going to say happy birthday to Waylon. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Waylon. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Say all of us. And so say all of us. And so okay. say all of us. <laughs> How old are you today, Waylon? Seven. Wow! Happy birthday. Thank you. Enjoy it while it lasts, Waylon. <laughs> what did you get for your birthday so far, son? What? What did you get for your birthday so far? I got some Lego sets, some books, and some walking beetles. Some walking beetles? Very cool. What's a walking beetle? They're toy beetles that move. Oh. How does, it, how does it feel to be seven? Does it feel any different? No. No? Did anything so, happen at school? Uh, not really. I did get my birthday pencil, though. Very cool. What, sorry? Cool. Birthday pencil. Oh, a birthday pencil. Yeah. That's interesting. I guess every school has its own little thing that they do, right? When I was a kid, uh, they would say your name on the PA in the morning. Oh, and today's yeah. birthdays are... Pretty for, cool. Usually at, uh, on my birthdays at school, I'd get detention. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like it's having my name cake. read. Because then all the, the older, the bullies a year older would be like, target you at recess. <laughs> like, it's your birthday, that's ruin it for him. I had a lot of good birthdays as a kid. Oh. I'm looking forward to you coming tomorrow night, son. You're going to bring your friend Gabe to our house? Yeah. Sounds like fun. What are you guys going to get up to this weekend? A gift. Yeah, there might be a gift. Maybe. A, did you have a cake yet? Uh, I had pot, pumpkin pie for my birthday. Ooh. Ooh. Do you like pie better than cake? Mm. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. That's good to know. Because then I won't uh, make the mistake of making cake. Well, I mean, you could always eat the cake you make. You could make a birthday cake for him that you'll eat, and then you can just give him his pumpkin pie or something. It's probably best that nobody eats any cake that I try to make. <laughs> well, you know, you could make the legendary pie cake in. It's like the turducken of desserts. It's, it's a cake with pie inside and then all the toppings. Pie oh, my cake. goodness. Yes. So how many? So do you, get, do you get diabetes after you eat that whole thing? Like, how does that yes. work? Part of the preparation is a shot of insulin. <laughs> That's right. So I was thinking, son, on Saturday we'll go to Barkerville Whoa. and we'll get we'll walk around Barkerville because the weather looks like it's going to get better finally. And then uh, later that day we can go to town and we can go to the park. What's your favorite part of the park? Uh, the trampoline. That is so cool. Trampolines are trampolines are so fun. Especially oh. when you get double bounced, holy smokes, you just go flying in the air. Your legs are like this while you're <laughs> flying in the air. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. You're defying gravity. You're, you're... <gasps> yeah. 
And that is what we do too, isn't it, Waylon? Yeah. I balance you. I balance you. That means that uh, Waylon's going to be finished school next month for the summer. Then he returns in the fall. And what grade will you be next fall? Two. Grade two. Wow. What about you, Willow? I'm going to be in grade four. No, grade five, I mean. All right, who's got a funny joke? Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, you got a joke, don't you, buddy? Oh, my God. There's a there's a toy mouse running around the house. <laughs> a toy mouse? <laughs> you better catch him. Ah. You better catch him. Get up on your chairs, everybody. I'm going to get up on the chair here. I don't want the mouse to nibble my feet. No, no. Where's that mouse now, Frankie? He could be anywhere. Oh, he's on my dinner plate. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that was delicious mouse. Definitely, definitely, you know, mice, they're just a bite-sized mouthful of protein. They hey, Tastes like chicken. Yeah, well, if you want to get the most nutritional value out of them, you have to eat the guts and all. Oh, yeah. The they're guts. Like, they're like giant fuzzy grapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're a little warmer than grapes. <laughs> a little squeaky. Waylon, Waylon also got a cool hat for his birthday. Whoa, let's see it. Put it on. Hey, that's a Nintendo controller. Wow, oh, that hat is that hat is amazing. Waylon has a Super Nintendo. What? Oh, that's amazing. Willow does too. There's more things that he got, like this scuba diving gear. Scuba diving gear? Cool. Yeah. I don't know why I got it. Snorkeling. <laughs> Snorkeling. <laughs> because oh. it's awesome to look at the bottom of the ocean. Because it won't be winter forever. Yeah. It's a very optimistic gift. <laughs> <laughs> this summer I love it. Coming up, Day like twenty four hours a day up North Pole. Yeah, Santa, Santa will get lots of time to tan up there because the sun won't go down for six months. Oh, yeah. What did you? Antarctica. There'll be dark twenty four hours a day there when it's there winter in Southern Hemisphere. Now, what did you do for your seventh birthday, Frankie McDonald? In seventh birthday, you got toys and things like this back in the day. Yeah, what kind of toys? It's like a. And uh, it's like it's some kind of dinky cars and things like that back in the old days. That's a long <laughs> time ago. <laughs> old days. Back in those days, little little dinky cars and, and whatnot. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, nice. Caden got me that. Well, then, firefighters or something, eh? Right on. Yeah. That's a lot of toys. That's good. So I don't have to worry about uh, getting you anything now because I see you've got lots of great presents. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to show him how many presents you got after he gives you your presents. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, Dad, I got nothing. Yeah. Woe is me. If only I could have gotten at least one present. <gasps> <sighs> oh, I guess I'll have to get him five then. <laughs> Just ask for thinking. cash, Will. <laughs> 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 Bitten Pete, <laughs> classic capitalist. <laughs> ask for Bitcoin, Pete ask, says. Ask for, yeah, ask for Verge, baby. <laughs> Some crypto. Oh, my goodness. Some crypto. <laughs> it's never too young. There it is. Yeah, it's never too young. I love you, Dad. I love you, too, son. Happy birthday. And I love you, too. Yeah, I love you too, Willow, even though it's not your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too incredibly. That's right. It's enough to have you come on the radio show, the Comedological Report on C for 88.7 FM and CKW 95.9 FM. So yeah. talking to my children, it's Whale's seventh birthday, yeah. and we're reminiscing, and we're talking about all the weather in Canada, and yeah. we've got a funny dog there. It's <laughs> chaos on the show this week. Wayne's going to have a new teacher this fall coming. Pardon me, Frankie? He's going to have a new teacher this fall. That's right. Great new grade two teacher. What did you get for your seventh birthday, Joe Stover? Oh, what did I get for my birthday? Oh, I got uh, toys and 
dinky cars and things like this back in the day. It was a long time ago. Did you get dinky cars as well, Pete? I think so. I remember I'd always ask for Christmas uh, one of those motorized little trucks, and I never got one. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, the one with the plastic wheels and stuff. Oh, totally. I don't totally. remember exactly what I got uh, for my seventh birthday. I wanted hockey jerseys when I was when I was you know seven, eight, nine years old because I was such a huge hockey fan. I still am, but I just I just wanted jerseys. That's all I wanted. If I, if I just got a if I got a hockey jersey, that was fine. I didn't need to get anything else. So Winnipeg Jets and Calgary Flames, not Toronto. Sorry, Joey, we won't I was go just there. Gonna say I'll send you a Leafs jersey for your birthday. Oh, uh, that would be a waste. Of, that would be a waste of a Leafs jersey, I'm afraid. Oh, my most memorable. You're a waste of jersey. Was Tony Hawk Pro Skater one, but I don't think that was until I was like in fourth grade or something. So I couldn't have been seven then. Oh my God! In Japan, yes, Great last game. year in 2021, Tony Hawk went to Tokyo, Japan, just to test the skateboard park before the Olympics. The athletes of the went on the skateboard park and 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 the skateboard. And in in Tokyo Olympics last summer, Tony Hawk was in Tokyo, Japan, testing the skateboards. Before the athletes, test in the park. Or test in the That's the, if I want. If I was going to get anybody to test a skate park, it would be Tony Hawk. What a cool job that is to just test a skate park. I yeah. know Tony Hawk donated with his own money a skate park in uh, Burlington, Vermont, just for the community there. I used to live in Burlington for a while, so that was cool. Tony Hawk's cool. Cool, dude. Awesome. awesome. He's cool, and his games were cool. I played Tony Hawk One and Tony Hawk Two until my, until my thumbs fell off, until my hands looked like this because I had no thumbs. I got my first skateboard Broke in up. nineteen. I got my first skateboard in nineteen eighty nine, and uh, so I've been skateboarding for a long time. I still have skateboard. Still like to ride once in a while. Uh, where was it going with this? So yes, and I would dream at night of being able to grind like you can in Tony Hawk just like on anything and everything and everywhere and just this oh. Saturday my most new video ever my YouTube channel guy tries to eat 50 hot dogs at once turned 10 years old it's, it's gonna be awesome hey uh, um Waylon what did that what did that birthday card say can you show that birthday card again what does that say can you move it up how is this birthday card like your nose so what does what does it say inside it was carefully picked. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick your nose. I wasn't picking my nose. I was scratching it. It wasn't a scratch. Or it wasn't a pick. It was a scratch. It wasn't a pick. <laughs> hey, Joe, you know the rules of this show. You can pick your friends. You can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's nose. Yeah, well, especially here, it's a little bit. You guys are kind of your noses are a bit too far for me to reach. So, were you trying to pick his nose? Whose nose are you poking at? Stop that! You know the rules of the show. Well, the radio listeners don't know that we aren't all in the same room. We're not all in the same room. I Can you think imagine? All in the same I heard that McDonald's is cut off from Russia. Where are they going to get their Big Macs? That means a lot of stuff. They limited internet access over in Russia. Restricted a lot of things over there. Cut off a lot of networks over there. Basically, Russia sucks now, eh? Yeah, I think Big Donald's made it permanent that they're not going to reopen. Yeah, they they sold off all their uh, assets to a, a Siberian company, if I heard the news right. They say permanent, but in 1987, do you think McDonald's believed that they'd have a, a McDonald's in Moscow in 1991? Good point. I mean, right, everything's so. everything's permanent until until this conflict is over, and then we'll just see how long it takes for. It depends on how it goes. I mean, there's so many balls in the air. Like you just like <laughs> you don't even know what the world is going to look like in five years. Honest, true. Safe for your youngsters, though. Safe for your youngsters, I'm sure. It makes for good press <laughs> to say uh, we're out forever. I love it. The only time Joe gets dark with anything, and it's on a kid's <laughs> birthday. Good one. Good job, Joe. Well, I recovered. I recovered. Masterfully. <laughs> Thank you, Imogen. What did you get for your birthday, Imogen, when you were seven years old? I got... He-Man Dragon Walker. Whoa! 
<laughs> yep. I actually have two of them. They both work, and I still occasionally race them across the kitchen until they just bump into each other because they do that weird spin around thing. Yeah, and they both have He-Mans. And in true Drag Race style, Battle Cat is the girl in the little shorts who drops the car. <laughs> and then the, and the Dragon Walkers will, like, sprint across the kitchen slowly. He-Man falls off after, like, the third time, after the third step. Yeah. Is it is it Battle Cat, like, in full armor, or is it Cringer without his armor? Well, he's Battle Cat with the armor. Hold that thought. I'll grab him. I'll show you. Oh, There's a no goodness. number of us who are from the 1979 sort of era who were there for the He-Man thing when it was big. But Waylon, you have He-Man now too, and kids are watching He-Man, are they not? They are, and I, I have Skelegod, and uh, I have, I think I have most, man. And uh, that means Mario know. is a character designed in Japan, and Nintendo, Mario is, uh, is created by Nintendo over in Japan. Same with Link and Donkey Kong. 100%. He's Italian, not Japanese. So there's there's the pair of the dueling dragon walkers that sprint across the floor. And Battle Cat with the He-Man. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Yep. He-Man rides on the other dragon walker. It's legit. Oh, yeah. He's got his little sword. That dude's... Uh, Armor comes off. There's a little belt strap on the bottom holding it on. It pops off. I recall. Oh, armor comes off. By the power of Grayskull. Yeah. He's got his little sword. That is awesome. You should make like a bluegrass song out of that. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull, I have the power. <laughs> By the power, by the power, by the power of Grayskull. Boom, 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 That'd be awesome. Coming soon to the Times Change High Lonesome Club. That's right. So, um, I went to go get the, um, figures. I found Moss Man. Cool. But I couldn't find, I couldn't find Skillgar. So He-Man's making a comeback. I love it. I love it. That's great. Oh dang! I didn't What's know old they were making a comeback. Those are just old toys from, you know, they never died. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, ninety Star Wars on a, on ships a Mario hanging video, above my head. On a Super Mario video game, is Mario's based on a plumber from Italy? Like a when they go down pipes and things like that. It's like a plumber. And what's his brother's <laughs> name? Luigi. Those are plumbers. The yeah, they the two brothers that don't really do any plumbing. They, 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 I think they used to do plumbing work, but now they uh, save the princess. I think that's what they do now. They chase I tell you, Japanese plumbers, Japanese pizza. <laughs> that's right. Chinese pizza, it's Italian, not Chinese. It's Italian. And the link is designed in Japan, too. Yeah, that, that was one of, that's still my favorite video game of all time for the Super Nintendo, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Just like I love all the Zeldas, but that Link to the Past game for the Super Nintendo is my number one. You heard it here first, folks. The and number Don one Don greatest Don. video game of all time. Don I'm Don still Don high on Blades of Steel. Universe. Blades of Steel, yes. And Pac Man. Pac-Man, Pac Pac Pokemon and Mario and all these games. It's like it's like a Donkey Kong. That's another character from Mario. That Absolutely. was, I think, Mario's first, uh, first Mario's first appearance was Donkey Kong back in the... Was it late 70s when that game came out? When did Donkey Kong come yeah. out? I believe 81. Yeah, early, early 80s. I don't think it was quite 70s. Oh, if there was only a way to find out. I know. I'll Google it. I believe 1981 would be uh, the first appearance of Donkey Kong. Dad? In the arcades. Yes. Um, we're gonna go soon. Yes, well, the show is almost over. It's over in nine minutes. 1981 oh. is correct. Ooh. 1981 is correct. Joey, Joey knows win. his retro geekery. Joey only wins the Christmas turkey. The kids and I have watched documentaries on old video games together. Oh, nice. Cool. Old games are the best games. Yeah, nothing beats Tetris, man. That's the name of that song. I remember the original ah. Tetris for Game Boy. Original Game Boy. It's black and white, greenish, 
yellowish black and white on original Game Boys on Tetris. I used to see them at the Kmart Woco a long time ago when I was only a little kid. What's your favorite video game, Pete? Hard to say. I like that. That Tony Hawk one was my favorite for a while. And then uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 was my favorite. And then I like the whatever the Call of Duty, uh, one of the older Call of Duty with the Nazi zombies. Those were only three that I really got into. Well, some on the computer. I so that's not playing video games uh, as much later in high school. I remember another video game called Sonic the Hedgehog. That's Jay Sega's property. Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. Those are Sega's property of Sega. Sega! <laughs> yeah, we have that one. Sega Brandon. Master System. That's Nintendo's regular Nintendo's rival. Is Sega Master System. Super Nintendo's rival is Sega Genesis. The original PlayStation Nintendo 64's rival is Sega Saturn. And Nintendo GameCube PlayStation 2 rival is Sega Dreamcast. That's Sega's last gaming console forever is Sega Dreamcast. That's correct. What about you, Waylon and Willow? What are your favorite video games? Um, I don't know what my favorite video game is. Me too, actually. I think you guys like nice. Minecraft. It's all you think about. <laughs> Brandon Houck is... Uh, Letting me know, we've been expecting him to come on the show tonight, but that hasn't worked out because uh, Brandon Houck, who's our regular weatherman, who's uh, from the 105.7 FM, the country radio station in Brooks, Alberta. He's currently producing the Brooks Bandits hockey game. The Bandits are up 4-1 over the college, Francois de Longuy. So that's great news in the national tournament for Brandon Houck and the Brooks Bandits hockey team. Super. I figured it was something I guess Brooks Bandits related. We will have to wait till next week to have weather reports from Brandon. That's probably why the weather's going to clear up. There's nothing to report on in BC much coming up the next bunch of days. It's because Brandon has nothing. It's like we need Brandon to report in order for there to be weather. It's like, you know. It doesn't happen unless Brandon makes it happen. True. Without Brandon and Frankie, there is no weather. Or anything else, man. Podcasts alone would cease to exist. And did you hear about that? Andrew Dude, Bass Guy is back. Back yes. again. Guess who's back? <laughs> Another question for all of you. If a tree falls on Bruce Coburn, does anybody care? What did Bruce ever do to you, Joey? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce blocked a falling tree. Oh, did? Oh. Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Our Bruce Coburn stopped a falling tree. Joey was supposed to be falling it. Bruce messed with him. <laughs> it's been a rivalry for the last, like, 15 years. How did you not know this? I did not know that there was a Joey-only Bruce Coburn rivalry. That, that I, did not, I did not know that. I oh, did not know that. Yeah, there is isn't. been for years. The rivalry is actually between a, a geologist named Al I used to work with, who's an old fella from the Yukon, who... Uh, Bumped into Bruce Coburn at the Yukon airport and then found him quite unwilling to have conversation. And uh, for an old timer geologist like Al, he's kind of by the old school way. He didn't appreciate Bruce Coburn's response, attitude, or hereafter, whatever, so oh, forth and so on. on. So then all summer long, while prospecting with Al, all summer long, one of us would sing from one of the trenches to each other, if a tree falls on Bruce Coburn, <laughs> and the other guy would sing back out, does anybody care? I had the same if rivalry with Randy Bachman, actually. In. Why are you guys terrorizing these people in the bathroom? They'd probably be <laughs> friendlier if they weren't in the bathroom. Don't ask for autographs. Don't make the approach if a dude's in a stall. They're going to be hostile, just saying. They're well, going to be happy hostile. Yeah. Happy birthday, Waylon, from everybody on the show, from me, your dad, from from Imogen, from Joe Stover, from Pete, from Frankie. Happy birthday, son. Welcome yes. to and guess Seven. What? Base, and Bass Guy Show has returned. You can watch <laughs> Bass Guy playing the music on Monday afternoons at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday afternoons at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday afternoons on 1 p.m. Eastern Time as well. You can check out Bass Guy on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m., you guys will be listening to his music. 
Perfect. <laughs> when, 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 where can we find you on the internet, Frankie? My Twitter is at Frankie McD. My Facebook is Frankie MacDown. My Facebook pub with figure page is Frankie Down with blue check marks. My TikTok is Frankie Down 1984. My Instagram is Frankie MacD 1984. My Clapper is Frankie Down 1984. And my LinkedIn is Frankie Down. My Twitch is Frankie Down 1984. My Snapchat is Frankie M A C D O N. And my YouTube channel is Dogs and Wolves. Introducing Frankie's store with Frankie's SP Prepare shirts is FrankieStore.ca. And like the, uh, the base guy show has returned on Mondays, afternoons, Wednesday afternoons, Friday afternoons at 1 p.m. Oh Eastern Standard Time. Base guy show has returned on www.baseguyshow.com. You can check it out. You can listen to his music on every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday afternoons. <laughs> Just so you know. Well, Just awesome. so you know. I have what an idea. What? We should sing happy birthday to Waylon. Let's do it one more Let's time. Let's do it everybody. one more time. Go ahead. Let's end the show with a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. John Casey, aka Face Guy Show, has returned. <laughs> happy birthday, happy, happy, happy birthday, Waylon! Happy birthday, Waylon! I'll see you tomorrow. And I guess that's the end of the show this week on C for 88.7 FM, CKW 95.9 FM. I'm Joey Only. This is the Comedological Report. Comedy plus meteorology equals comediology. And, uh, well, bye for now. Bye, bye now. Bye. 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 Bye.